guys how are you if you knew how welcome and it's michelle and this is one of my very new series this is how do you think they feel like versus how they really feel so we're gonna see how do you think they feel like about you and we're gonna find out exactly how they really feel so with this said this is a collective reading of course keep in mind that my readings have no date they are divinely guided that you have to well that everything's going to resonate with everybody and keep in mind that roles can be reversed between you and that person in your mind of course this is all general so you may you are able to take whatever you want from the reading because it may or may not resonate it's on you with this said let's enjoy the collective reading i'm going to pop some sort of signs so if you click on the video most likely it's for you so uh, let's continue uh, let's continue so with this said we're going to find out we're going to start with how do you think this person feels so this is thank you speak give me the best and most ugly cards for my collective today so we're going to find out how do you think they feel we're gonna see here. Okay, and over all here. So we got a Libra, we got a very strong Pisces, we have a Leo, we got an Aries, we got uh Libra Gemini Aquarius or Aquarius, we got Leo Sagittarius, and we got Pisces and Libra. Anyways, oh let's see, oh let's see. So this person, you think they are a liar. They, you think that they haven't changed. You think that they are players. You think that they are players that they don't want to open up, that they don't really care for you, that they don't really want you. Um, you think that they only want to fuck. You think that they're only here for <coughs> other interests other than loving you. You feel like they are not going to change. You feel like it's a waste of time. Um, at the end of the day, you feel like, once again, that they want to play you, that they don't want to be honest with you, that they don't want to be with you, that they only want to have sex with you, that they really don't want to take any sacrifice, in, and that they don't have focus in what direction they want to take. And you feel like they're going to hurt you and salt in such a way that you have that you have to walk away heartbroken and you feel like this is something they want to do you feel like they love you but that, that they don't have the balls to wait you feel like they love you like i said before but they don't have the balls to change or to take the right step to do things right um you feel like they lack of direction once again and that they lack of intention <coughs> intention and that's how you feel you feel like no matter how much you love them or how much they love you that they're just not gonna change or that it's not gonna work and that that's why they don't put the effort or that's why they will never put the effort I feel like you feel like um, you have transformed and that you have over over loved this person <laughs> or that you have gotten over this person this is also feeling that some of you feel like this person has transformed or changed and that they don't care for you anymore or that they don't want the same thing as you. So this is how you feel they, they think, okay? And you feel like they're just going to the best offer or the best option at this point. You feel like they're never going to settle down and that they lack of commitment. So you have a very specific, like you have love, but you have a very bad perspective over this person not gonna lie so let's see exactly how they really feel about you what are, what are the real feelings let's see let's see what are the real feelings here all right oh So we have here the Hermit, which is Virgo. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the Lovers and Vivers, Gemini. And we got the Five of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the Sun, Leo, Aries, Energy, and the Seven of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So at this point right here, they're masking their pain. They're masking their pain. I feel like they, uh, with this energy right here, is getting me that they know that they have hurt you. They do feel guilty. They do feel bad they in a way shape or form and this is how they feel it's not what they did it's what they feel and like i said before your feelings are valid and their feelings are valid too if you want to fight fight i'm gonna tend you to take care anyways with this said right here um they do care they do feel bad they feel bad about what they did about how things ended um they do feel bad about 
not being brave enough to apologize to you not being brave enough to fight for you a little bit more but if you think they have they don't care they do care they just mask it they don't say it they're quiet about it they're not telling anybody how they really feel but they do feel a lot of pain and a lot of hurt uh, for how things ended and how things <coughs> happened in between you and them they do think about you a lot and they also regret this the missed opportunities that they themselves allow themselves to have with you they know that they have multiple opportunities to do it best or to do a, a better um and they know that they had multiple opportunities to make uh to make it up to you to make it up to you better but they also know that they were too coward like to do it and it's like the ghost of you haunts them down they do acknowledge the feeling they do acknowledge the connection and they just regret acknowledging so late to take so long to acknowledge it to push you away of their life you know and they know that they know that and they know that you didn't do it they know that they were the one doing it and they know that you did give them chances that you did give them chances and that they messed up they fucked up they took it for granted and that maybe today is too late and they and they say you know maybe it's too late for me to make it up to to them so if you think they don't feel that that's not true they do feel it and and that's exactly how they feel now with the sun right here they haven't had uh, a good year a good month since they stopped talking to you since you guys stopped everything um life doesn't feel the same without you i don't they don't feel happiness they don't feel happiness they're just content or not even content they're just there they um have tried to find happiness in other arms hasn't worked they don't get excited when it comes when a christmas party comes over when something like that happens like they don't feel happiness or content they're empty they're very empty and they often wonder if you feel like that too uh, they like to would like to apologize but they're coward they're afraid and i'm not gonna lie they're telling my energies are telling me they said that they're afraid they're fucking shit in their pants and they just don't have the courage to come towards you and apologize and they have thought of it multiple times they have wanted to do it multiple times but they haven't done it because they're afraid rejection afraid of what you will say afraid of what they have to encounter you know afraid to see how much they changed you afraid of you not even remembering them and they making a fool of themselves you know they're afraid afraid period now you don't get to tell me oh you're doing this wrong baby nine out of ten i'm right and I'm telling you, I'm saying that they what they did was right. No, I'm saying that they, what they did was fucked up, and they and they and they feel it. They know it, but that's how they feel. And you don't get to disregard people's feelings, no matter how angry you are. And that's how readings are. I'm gonna read exactly what I see, and that's that. My readings are never going to be intended to fulfill somebody's wishes. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Mm -mm. I'm not a waitress, baby. I'm not going to bring you what you want. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm a tarot reader. And I'm going to tell you what really is going on. With all the love and light I can give you. With this set, things hasn't changed much in who they are. Um, they have always been this kind of sad person. And they are continuing to be that sad person. You are the only thing that was bringing light in their life. And they know that they fucked up. They know that they ruined the only beautiful thing they ever had by being a fuckboy, fuck girl, by lying, by wishy-washy energies. They know all of that and they know that, that that missed opportunity was because of them. And they lost control over it. They feel lost, out of control. So they do feel a lot when they think about you. So how you think they feel versus how they really feel are two different stories. And that's why people say there's always two stories of this. There's always two sides of the story, I should say. Again, there's always two sides of the story. So that's how they really feel. What's going to happen then? They're going to come to you in dreams a lot. 
they're gonna come to you in dreams a lot um we got the queen of cups and the hero fun right here and they're actually coming here a little bit change i feel like they're coming in it's like a dream come true that's what i'm hearing like it feels like a dream like like, like you're like is this real life am i dreaming is he or she really here so that's how this is going to be like they're going to show up like a magician they're going to show up in your life like boom and you're going to feel like oh my god is this really real it, am i dreaming or what you know with the ten of pentacles right here i see that they're coming there is actually like opening the treasure or opening the pandora box so whatever has been putting been put under the rug and forgotten is going to be opened up again so whatever it is that they're doing or when they're coming hold on it's like a treasure like it's been hidden for so long and you know forgotten for so long that when it comes up and open it's like oh my god but either way i also sense that they're coming in with a gift so either or it could be somebody's birthday it could be the holidays it's like they're gonna actually either or gift you something or whatever they're doing is like a gift to you in any way shape or form now this right here is making things right with you um they're actually not expecting much out of it they're not expecting much out of your reaction they just want to make it right with you and for you to know how they really felt all this time and how they really feel um i do see somebody again giving you something i give, see somebody giving you something it's like a gift um i also feel like they're getting courage because of the financial situation got better in their life and i feel like they also gotten older and they just wanted to you know do what's right um this is a sacrifice that they know they should have you know done a long time ago but right now they pushed away the ego and they're not expecting you or asking you to make any sacrifices for them because they know that they don't deserve those sacrifices but at the end of the day they're just here to apologize to you and of course there's always this small small little hope to see if you guys can start over again and take what you guys left off but at the end of the day it's not something that they're like not hoping but like focus on that they're just more about making it right because they they know that you think of them so poorly and they don't they don't like that so they want to make clear their name that's what i heard they're coming clean so that's what i have for you babes um i want to give you the potential initials of this individual so this could be the first last middle or even a nickname hold on and let's see so we got s and sam gs and george ks and kfc ts and tyler es and edwin ls and leo js and jason or jimmy i and ian and two more ds and diego and that's Nina and Asian and Hamburger. So those are the potential initials of the person that's coming forward or that we were talking about. Before I go, let me just give you an overall energy. Let's see, let's see what the overall energy is here. So let's see. So the first one says coffin and it says ending bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition then we got the dragonfly be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal hand of cards it is says take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling and last one i want to give you mirror and this one says mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection Intra introspection <laughs> anyways guys this is the end of your reading thank you so much for watching me don't forget to like and subscribe i have multiple series that are coming up this week or the next because i got like 12 new and uh series that i want to record plus the ones that i've been doing for a little bit with this said if you want to win a free reading make sure to subscribe to my channel as every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers i host a free reading giveaway right now i'm hosting that giveaway so if you want to check out the video for that giveaway so you know exactly what i'm giving away and and what else you need to do besides subscribing most likely i'd already show you the screenshot of the video you want to check out um i also have a new project coming up for my subscribers and where i choose one lucky subscriber every month it's going to be always towards the end of the month starting october i want to choose one lucky subscriber as i said before and i'm going to feature them on a video i'm going to read their cards on a video and post it right here so if you want to have your own personalized video uh make sure to 
subscribe with this said most likely i did show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i always follow back i also have a tiktok where i do small you know theories over there i also have a small group on facebook that i'm trying to grow i have a new project coming up which is a podcast the links are going to be on the description box below for the podcast so if you don't want to miss out the episodes that are about to drop even uh within a week or so make sure to subscribe um to that podcast as well i also am open for personal readings but if you want to read it you want to go to the link which is also description box below and it'll take you to my website that is the only way you can actually get a read with me so i do not take requests outside that website so if you were to message me outside that website i'm going to redirect you to the website once again uh, you can also go on instagram if it's easier for you and you can actually book your request on the book now button on my bio and it'll take you directly to that website with that said this is all i have to say thank you so much for watching me do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon and happy halloween